In Acts chapter 5, verse 41, it says, So they went on their way from the presence of the council, <clears throat> rejoicing that they had been considered worthy to suffer shame for his name. In Acts chapter 5, verse 41, it says, So they went on their way from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they had been considered worthy to suffer shame for his name. So this prophetic word is going to be called suffering with Christ, to reign with Christ. Suffering with Christ, to reign with Christ. So in Acts chapter 54, it says, So they went on their way from the presence of the council, rejoicing. And when I looked at the definition of rejoicing, it, it means to feel or, or to show great joy or delight. Huh. So they went on their way from the presence of the council rejoicing. They were rejoicing. They were to feel or to show great joy or delight. They We can see that they were happy. They could they were feeling and showing great joy or delight. Rejoicing that they had been considered. And when I looked up the definition of consider, it means having been thought about carefully. Having been thought about carefully, they had to be considered. Rejoicing that they had been considered worthy. Worthy means having or showing the qualities or abilities that merit recognition in a specified way. It also means having worth or value. It also means honorable. Worthy means honorable. It also means having sufficient worth or importance. Worthy to be remembered. Worthy. So it says, so they went on their way from the presence of the council rejoicing, feeling or showing great joy or delight that they had been considered, having been thought about carefully. Worthy. Having sufficient worth or importance, worthy to be remembered, worthy to suffer shame for his name. Hmm. When it said that they were rejoicing that they had been considered worthy, I jotted down a note and I said, our whole life we have been searching for, for our worth and the things of this world. When God, who, whom created us, already calls us worthy even before we are yet even born. You're already worthy. You're already worthy. God has a message for you today. You are already worthy in the name of Jesus. Uh, this world doesn't define your worth. Uh, no man can define your worth in the name of Jesus. No woman can define your worth. No job. No title, no label, no position can determine your worth. God looks at you and he already sees and says you're worthy. Woo, do it, Lord. I didn't even write that down. So our whole life, we search for our worth and the things of this world when God, whom created us, already calls us worthy. Even before we are yet even born. 
Speak into your atmosphere today. I'm worthy. I'm worthy. I'm worthy. Speak it out your mouth. Say, I'm worthy. I'm worthy. I'm worthy. Claim it. Receive it. Father, we receive it and we accept it today in the name of Jesus. Let the word be rooted in you in the name of Jesus to lay hold of it. Claim it, speak it, declare it. I'm worthy in the name of Jesus. Hmm. Yeah, da, 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 ba, 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 I see. So it says that they were rejoicing that they had been considered worthy to suffer. Ha, ha, I said it, ba, 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 I see. Worthy to suffer. Worthy to suffer. Hold on now. How can you sit it and say? See, that's where we get all twisted up to suffer. Worthy. I gotta be counted. How you sit it and baby yes say? You thought about me, Lord, carefully so that I could worthy to suffer. Oh Lord, how can you sit it and baba yes say? So when I looked up the definition of suffer, I learned something new today. We have to be worthy. Consider, thought about carefully to suffer. To suffer. Suffer means to experience or be subjected to something bad or unpleasant. Suffer means to experience or be subjected to something bad or unpleasant. Hold on. How can I it? So I have to be thought about carefully consider worthy just to suffer just to experience something bad or unpleasant that's that's not making sense to me but if you go on it says that they were rejoicing that they had been considered worthy to suffer shame for his name so, the definition of shame is a painful feeling of humiliation or distress caused by the consciousness of wrong or foolish behavior. And it also means to make someone feel ashamed. Okay, okay, okay. So now we're getting somewhere. So they were rejoicing that they had been considered to suffer shame. But why? How can I say that today? I say his name, the name above all names, Jesus. How can I say that? I say thank you, Jesus. So I wrote, the suffering, the trials, the persecution, the shame, the adversities that we face in this world, when we love God, when we honor God, are for his name. It's for God's glory. I also wrote that God sees our pain. He's in it with us. He feels it too. God sees our pain. He's in it with us. And he feels it too. Well, 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 how can I know that God is with me? God cares about you so much. That he already had me studying scriptures and making this word, writing this word, working through me just to speak to you. Because you are worthy in the name of Jesus. Worthy in the name of Jesus to suffer. Shame. For his name. For his glory. Okay, I see that. 
So the question is, why do we suffer for Christ? Why do we suffer for Christ? God has an answer for you and me and all of us. And the answer was given to us in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 12. And let me go to it. I'm so sorry. Okay, I say I should have had it ready. Okay, I say that I say so. I said Second Timothy. Oh Lord Jesus, thank you, Father. Ooh, okay, I say that I Lord, you're worthy in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, do it, Lord. Okay, I say that I love see. So I said, Second Timothy chapter two, verse twelve. All right, and let's see. It reads, "If we endure, how can I say that?" say, let me go up. I'm actually going to start at eleven. It says, "The saying is trustworthy." For if we have died with him, and it's talking about a spiritual death, our baptism. The saying is trustworthy, for if we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, endure what? The suffering of shame for his name. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. So why do we suffer for Christ? If we endure, we will also reign with him. Okay, I said it the day I said, if we deny him, he also will deny us. If you endure, if you submit to the suffering, if you're willing to suffer with God, for God, it says that we will also reign with him. So we suffer for his name so that we can reign with him. That's why this prophetic word is called suffering with Christ to reign with Christ. So, when I looked up the definition, the biblical definition of reign, it means to possess or exercise sovereign power. If you suffer for him, you shall reign with him. And to reign with him means to possess or exercise sovereign power. In the name of Jesus. I was listening to a song yesterday by Betty Wright. And it's called No Pain, No Gain. And she said, in order, in order to gain something you have to give something in order to be something you have to go through something and what she was speaking of when she said that she was talking talking about a process in order to gain something you have to give something in order to gain heaven, you have to suffer. In order to be something, in order to reign and to be in royal office, to possess or exercise sovereign power, you have to, in order to be something, you have to go through something process 
Lord, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we glorify you. We lift you up. We exalt you, Lord. Thank you, God, for explaining to us why we have to suffer. God, I pray that you help us to humble ourselves and to submit and to yield to your will. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Lord God. We love you and we thank you, God. For if we suffer shame for your name, we shall also reign with you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah and amen.